he's going to be forced out of bounds. Is up defensively to make the stop for Kent State is James Mullins. Andrew Mullins Mullins loses his helmet on the play, Bob. Mullins a 6-1 sophomore, and as you mentioned, Dick Crumley, coach at Kent State, really working these young kids into the defensive line, making a lot of substitutions. Well, yeah, sure, they're not going to substitute for the main men like uh, Stefanik, who uh, was named the Defensive Player of the Week last week against Ball State and Massimiani and Hartman, but uh, the secondary, a very young, inexperienced unit, and uh, Coach Crum's trying to change some things up right now as Reggie Cook is still out there against, um, right now lined up against Slevic at receiver. The game is to Mobley, and Mobley off tackle, tries to get some yardage. He too loses his helmet, he gains only two yards as Barnes makes the stop. So Ohio coming out this time showing different formations, and they come out with the wishbone, and in the ball game at the fullback position is Ricky Howe, a freshman fullback, 5'11", 220, and a name we really haven't seen this year. Well, that's an interesting point that Ohio uh, has a freshman out there right now at the running back spot. Uh, you know, you look at this uh, running back situation for Ohio, and you have a whole bunch of seniors, and no one, none of the younger players had really touched the ball for Ohio in the backfield this year. All the players like Mobley and Greer really are uh, going to be graduating. Quick pass out to Chelplick, and he may have the first down as Thornton completes it. Slavik with three catches on the air, make that number five as he's already has two in this ball game. So Klebeck gets the first down on a gutsy call on third down, throwing out of the wishbone in Ohio. Moves first the six. Ten. Eight minutes and eight seconds to go in quarter number two. OU 14, Kent State seven. Know you with touchdowns from Mobley and Byron Cross in the first quarter. They go back to the I formation. Give us to Greer. Greer hitting the backfield. Spins forward to get back to the line of scrimmage. This good penetration was made by Andrew Harmon of Kent State, but Greer was able to avoid that first tackler and get it out to the 36-yard line. That's a sign of a good back. If you can make that first back, the first tackler miss, you're not going to get uh, dumped for a loss many times. Andrew Greer, of course, one of the California connections for Cleve Bryant. One of the players that uh, Coach Bryant recruited all the way out in California.